where sweet as RVing is sweet as when you arrive in the Northern Territory for the first time. And that's what it looks like when you're leaving the Northern Territory and the Queensland. <laughs> Love it. Hello everyone, hello from Tennant Creek, Northern Territory. We spent the night uh, about 100 k's um, the other side of um, Barclay Homestead. Uh, free camp, just a little roadside stop there, it was good. Sadly we lost power for some reason and we're still trying to investigate with our lithium batteries. Um, so uh, we managed all right though. Uh, whipped through to Tin Creek mainly because of the fuel prices are getting a bit expensive further up the road there so it's a bit cheaper to just nip down here and grab a, a big tank of gas and um, yeah, because of all this wind and dust and dirt everything's a bit, bit, uh, bit grubby, things a bit clean, carpet, you know, the, the mats on the floor, the floors, the towels, all our clothes and things, our shoes, so it's good to get here and um, a nice clean up plug into the mains, get everything all recharged, get all the tanks all full, get the washing all done, get a bit more Wi-Fi, because we haven't had Wi-Fi for a little while, and um, yeah, plan our next trip, which is, uh, we're going to try and make it up in the next couple of days to Daily Waters if we can. So uh, it's just a quick whistle stop here at um, Tennant Creek, and I say I wouldn't mind maybe going for a walk or something, but conditions are just windy, blustery, warm enough it's about 20 degrees it's not too bad but yeah we'll have a look we'll see what tomorrow brings here we have in the distance a beautiful grand old building it's currently being uh, restored and uh, yeah looks mint and amongst all these mounds of these are termites are they the keepers of the land look at them all Sorry for the wind, but this is the Tennant Creek Telegraph Station. It was one of 11 repeater stations along the line between Darwin and Port Augusta. Righty ho there. Well there goes another destination, Tennant Creek. Tick. Thanks very much Tennant Creek. A bit windy but hey uh, we bought some rain for you. How, how nice is that? Pastures are already greening up. But that was a, a nice way to leave Tennant Creek. Um, you've done a beautiful job there with the uh, restoration and keeping a building like that alive. It's, it's a real pleasure to see. So we're going to hop back into the, uh, the wagon and we're going to start heading our way to Darwin. I think I said um, couple of days to daily waters. The street of daily waters. This could be a long time and hey the pub's only halfway down. I might be pretty hoarse by the time we get there. Hey but the old timer here, it's the old mail and grog truck relocated here back in 2019 um, yeah looking at the roof I don't know I'm not too sure <laughs> but hey there's lots to see and do let's uh, stick with it and um, see what we can find here's a good one a little Robinson somehow I think it crashed whilst it was mustering some cattle they use these a lot out in the outback but it gets the old sheep and the cattle Somehow I think he still had the washing on the line when he crashed. Here we go. I'm not too sure whether it's a Robbie or not. But it must be a Robbie. Because I know Robbies scare the crap out of some people. <laughs> no, it can't be a Robbie with a flash buddy tail like that. So who were you? Twin. 
here at the museum in Daily Waters. You are always in for a surprise wherever you turn. Up, down and around, there is so much to see. Make sure you come on in, spend your three bucks donation and get an eyeful. In Houston, we have a problem. No, we don't have a problem, we have a goat. Oh, isn't the goat gorgeous? Hello, gorgeous goat. How are you? Hey, how are you? We have a cow. Do you want a pet? Can I pet you too? How are ya? How are ya? Got a bit of eyeliner there on tonight, eh? All dressed up and no place to go. I wonder where those two are off to, eh? Well, you never know. Ooh, you might have pop into, eh? How are you? Have you had a little nip and tuck lately? Hmm, I'm sure there's a doctor that can fix that. How are you, gorgeous? Up for a pat? Can I give you a little chubby cheeks? Hey? Yes, I can. The beef and baronite at Daily Waters is apparently a must, according to a few travellers that we've passed. So who knows? Better go and check out what the market price is and give it a crack. Oh, here it is, everybody. The main street of Daily Waters. And anybody would think it would be a scene out of Nash. But even in the wet, it's a fantastic place to come and visit. And we haven't even made it to the pub yet. So watch this space. Let's see if we can go and get some room. I just worked out how come there are so many bras up in the rafters of the bar of the Daily Waters Tavern. It may have something to do with, oh I just had one beer, even though it was 2.25 litres of alcohol. And there's the story to match. How cool. Chains around my shoulders and then chains them, chains they're about to drag me down. Gonna go this right. 
Alrighty, an end of another adventure here at Daily Waters. I'm not even too sure where we're heading this trip because um, we just enjoyed ourselves too much here last night and uh, the internet's pretty crap so I wasn't really able to sort out where we go next. So we've got to go and uh, empty out and uh, fill up with some fuel.